this question asks us to plot the velocity time graph and the displacement time graph using the acceleration time graph given to us. Let's first write down the equations representing each segment. To find the velocity from an acceleration equation, we need to remember that acceleration equals the derivative of velocity with respect to time. We can also write it as dv is equal to adt. If we integrate this equation, we can find the velocity. Since the missile starts from rest at a time of zero, the lower bounds for our integration are zero. When we integrate and simplify, we get b equals 18t. Now we need to calculate the velocity at 15 seconds before we do the integral for the next segment. Substituting 15 into our equation gives us 270 meters per second. So in other words, the missile is traveling at 270 meters per second at 15 seconds. Let's switch to the next segment and find its velocity equation. Remember that the missile is now traveling at 270 meters per second and 15 seconds have elapsed. Those become our lower bounds for our integral. Solving this integral gives us our velocity equation. To make drawing the graph easier, let's figure out the velocity of the missile at 20 seconds. At 20 seconds, the missile is traveling with a velocity of 395 meters per second. The graph looks like this. Now we need to figure out the equations for displacement. To do so, we need a relationship between displacement and velocity, which we know as v equals ds over dt. We can write it as ds is equal to v dt. Using our velocity equation for the first segment, and knowing that the missile starts at a time of zero, with a velocity of zero meters per second, we can write our integral. Solving gives us our displacement equation. Now let's figure out the displacement at 15 seconds. Substituting gives us 2,025 meters. We will use this value as our lower bounds for the next integration. As before, using 2,025 meters as our lower bound for the displacement at a time value of 15, we can write our integral. Solving gives us the displacement equation for the next segment. To make it easier for us to draw our graph, let's find the displacement at 20 seconds, which is 3,687.5 meters. The graph looks like this. If you have any questions or you have suggestions on how to make these videos even more helpful, please let us know. And if this video helped you, please give us a like. Thanks for watching.